So someone asked me if I would make a reaction to this video, it's called 50 Photos That Prove Germany Is Not Like Any Other Country So yeah, of course I've learned a lot about Germany and interested to see what these photos are and why Germany is not like any other country Tell me what you think about these and yeah, let's check them out A German circus is using holograms instead of live animals for a cruelty-free magical experience and it's cool I mean, that is actually Quite cool. I mean, I've never actually been to a circus. Have you been to a circus? Have you been to one in Germany? This one? I think it's pretty cool. It's actually doing it for a, a good reason. Like, you see in China, they're, like, using drones to do all these big displays and things like this. But it's just to kind of... Because they can. But this is actually doing it to take away the cruelty to animals. So there's actually a good uh, reason behind it. I quite enjoy that. When traffic comes to a complete stop in Germany... The drivers, by law, must move towards the edge of each side to create an open lane for emergency vehicles. Now, I've actually seen the video of, of this happen. I've never seen it happen as organised in any other country. I never knew it was by law, so it kind of makes sense that's why it was so organised. I've seen things in the UK where people just kind of move here and there, and it's a bit messy. Here in Asia, it's almost non-existent. People sometimes just wait in front of the emergency vehicle for some weird reason this is pretty cool so yeah by law tell me if you knew that was actually a law i guess you probably learned that when you're learning to drive in germany german olympic gymnastics fight against sexualization of women by wearing unitards for the first time okay i know is that different from what gymnasts normally use Instead of a Bible, this German hotel leaves a copy of the UN's Declaration of Human Rights. Okay, that's interesting. I guess being religious is maybe not as common in Germany as some of the other countries, definitely worldwide, but even in Europe, I guess a lot more Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean countries are a bit more religious, but I think maybe in Germany it's just not as important as these other countries, but to replace it with the U UN's Declaration of Human Rights is an interesting thing. I guess they could have gave something a bit more light-hearted and enjoyable to read before bed, but maybe not. In April, cherry blossoms bloom in Germany, gifted by Japan after the reu reunification. Is that a real image? That looks almost too beautiful to be real. That's almost like it's AI generated, but if that's true, is fantastic. The cherry blossoms in Japan are like a wonderful sight. Had no idea that this was that Germany had this sort of place as well. I mean, that is pretty stunning. A German city has installed a number of pods for homeless people fitted with thermal insulation to sleep in. Again, very good, man, where, where I'm seeing a lot of countries installing things like spikes on benches or under bridges to stop people or to yeah, stop pe people being able to sleep on the street. Germany's literally building beds for them covered like that that's a, a fantastic thing we've already seen some good humanity from uh germany cromwell bridge germany i've seen this on another video before a really cool bridge tampons in germany have a normal 19 percent vat books only seven percent so tampons are sold as a book with the great slogan stop taxing periods period very inventive pretty cool i mean is that actually true why would tam I guess tampons are just a normal product, so that that's why they have such high VAT. I guess they could maybe make some sort of exemption for a product like that that's so important to to women. And I know that in the UK, a lot of like sports stadiums and different buildings and things are actually giving them away free. So I, I guess probably there's similar things like that in Germany as well. But interesting way to work around that that VAT there. This is the Neustadt Kuhn. Kunststoff for Passage, a building in Germany that plays music when it rains. I mean, that's just showing off German engineering, man. That is actually very cool. Then what is this word here? Kunstso Passage, another very cool word. And yeah, great engineering. I guess mixing two things that Germany is known for, the arts, good art piece here, and engineering. And yeah, creating something nice, music, creating nice, I wonder what song it plays when it rains. 
The Technical University of Munich, Germany has slides on the fourth floor if you didn't feel like taking the stairs. I mean, every once in a while you've got to feel like a child. Have you ever used it if you went to that university? The small German city Bad Vilbel. I mean, that's just a nice name for a, a town or a city as well. Bad Vilbel. Hadn't enough space in the city centre for a new library building, so they built the first and only library bridge in Europe. I mean, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually interesting because when you see a lot of images of towns and cities from like 200 years ago, like London's a good example. Like the bridges in London used to be, like have buildings built on top, like houses, shops and things like that. Kind of similar to this, maybe this is a lot, this is obviously a lot more modern, the architecture's nice and going to be a lot safer, I would imagine. I like it. That's a cool idea for bridges, especially in smaller, uh, smaller bridges like this to actually give some functionality to the bridge as well. Again, that German engineering, ingenuity, architecture. And that, yeah, I do like this kind of architecture, that modern architecture. The Wuppertal Suspension Railway in Germany. Yeah, tell me more about this. I've seen this in images and videos. Tell me more about it. It seems to be still in use. I didn't realise it was so in use, but when was it actually created? I know there's an interesting story behind it, so tell me more about that. Tell me, yeah, where it is. The crosswalk signals in Freiburg, Germany. The town where Elvis Presley served in the US Army. That's pretty awesome. Again, why don't more traffic lights have more interesting things like this actually just in your standard like red and green man have some cool images like that thought i'd show you guys what we do in schools in germany some americans worry about vaccines will have microchips to track them their phones yeah <laughs> so you just learn memes in schools in germany recommend some good german meme videos as well a wheelchair swing in Germany. Yeah, I've seen things like this before. I, d I didn't know it was in Germany. I've seen it somewhere online, but that's a great idea. Like, I mean, I can only imagine being in a wheelchair, how hard it must be to like, have no real access to things to play. So pretty cool that they can have access there. German professor who is a hardcore Star Wars fan has just repainted an observatory into R2-D2. That guy really does like Star Wars. I don't know. T I don't know if I li really like that so much. To be honest with you, I'm not really like a Star Wars guy, but like I like the simple observatories. This house covered with overgrown ivy in the Botanischer Garten Gießen, the oldest botanical garden in Germany. Wow! When you see that bridge, you see things like this, man. These are like the integrating like nice things into nature and getting that natural beauty pretty cool women only parking in germany about seven percent of violent crimes against women occur in parking garages and this is an attempt to make parking safer for women they have that here in malaysia as well they have actually really big sections even in the new malls the old malls there's big bits usually it's like a pink sort of parking space they have some for families as well so that they've got bigger spaces so the kids can get out the car easier and stuff but I think this is a good thing and also here in Malaysia they have for their trains they'll have like one coach for women as well because I think that's the same again another place where violent crimes against women occur is on trains so they have their own coach on the train as well uh, is this a very common thing in Germany like in every car park do you have these or is it not so common it's a good idea I think This was my view as I stepped it off the train in Cologne, Germany. Breathtaking. Yeah, I really like all the old cathedrals in Europe. My mum and dad used to live in France in a place called Bourges in the centre of France and had a really huge, beautiful cathedral. Uh, Europe really has wonderful places like that. Uh, these old, like, religious buildings. In Germany, there's a water park called Tropical Islands. It's literal tropical island built inside the old an old blimp hangar. Nice. Have you been there? What part of Germany is that in? Fun facts about Germany. No fun in Germany. Go back to work. <laughs> That's a German humour. See, German people are funny. I, I know that. Frankfurt. 
Germany, stunning geometrical parking, offer 60% of space and easy parking and exit. I mean, Germany is just so far in the future compared to a lot of other countries. Manhole cover in Wiesbaden, Germany. Kenya, okay, yeah, I've never seen that before. Has that got, has that got practical advantages? Eschenheimer term. Oh, nice. Again, man, I, I also a great image. You see the old and the the new, the different architecture styles. Excellent to preserve that. Again, another thing, not just about Germany, but I really appreciate about Europe is how they preserve these old buildings. And actually, that one as well is very unique. The architecture, like the round, the cylind cylindrical shape and the pointed little parts here, really looks like it's from a like a. A, like a, what do you call it, like a fantasy story or something like that, just in the middle of a modern city. This McDonald's has a drive through for boats located in Hamburg. Of course, Hamburg has so many of these, uh, these little canals, so that makes sense. There is a street dedicated to cherry blossoms in Bonn. So this is the cherry blossom street, it's in Bonn, which could have been the capital city of Germany once upon a time. Once upon a time, cat shaped kindergarten in Germany. Nice. In Germany, you can play ping pong with the person on the other side of the traffic lights. That's fantastic. Have you ever did that? I guess that's a one off, probably. In Germany, there is an elevator that has an aquarium inside of it. Is this the aquarium that actually collapsed or something like that, or it broke? Is that in Hamburg as well, actually? I don't know. But I remember seeing an image of a big aquarium thing like this, and I'm pretty sure it was in Germany, but it somehow broken or collapsed or basically all the water had leaked out, I think. Maybe I'm misremembering. This antique door from 1380 in Regensburg, Germany, helps finding the keyhole after you drank too much wine. <laughs> <laughs> Practical solutions for probably common problems back in 1380. In Germany, we have puke sinks in some public places that have events like the in Oktoberfest. In my younger days, I would definitely have been a, a user of that, to be honest. Germany just built an electric highway to curb pollution from diesel trucks. An electric highway to curb pollution? So... How does this actually work? So are these built into a lot of trucks and what does this road just power them rather than actually using the, the diesel uh, fuel? I've never seen anything like that probably. I am uh, lacking in knowledge in this, but is this something that's common in Germany, common in Europe? Something I've definitely never seen before, never knew it existed. Again, but very environmentally friendly. German super supermarket has a genius in charge of beer promotions. I mean, again, very artistic. How much time does that person have? This bridge in Germany was painted to look like Legos. Excellent. I love the 3D nature of it as well. It really does look like Lego. Shopping cart cleaning machine in Germany. Nice. I mean, I've never really seen a dirty trolley. From space you can still see the border between East and West Berlin due to the different types of light bulbs used in the regions. Really? So we've got the more white lights here, the warm lights here. That's mad, but you think over time would they not replace the bulbs or change the lights to be like maybe like LEDs and have a more uniform one? Is this like an older image or something or is this still still the case? I guess you could keep it. It's actually quite an interesting sort of uh, thing. The Germany Outdoor Store has a pool in the basement where you can try out canoes. Fair enough, that's actually a good idea. My Gessler and Stuck, a workpiece that you have to design and build yourself to be a licensed carpenter in Germany. It's a beer pump. An individual beer pump, snowy bridge in Germany. Wow, I really like these images of, I mean, just the beautiful nature in Germany. The old German man out made out of Lego bricks in front of Legoland Germany wears sandals with socks. <laughs> Have you ever wore sandals with your socks? Is that a sort of common thing that German people do? I know it's like a German stereotype 
wearing those sandals and socks. Do the younger generation do that? Is it only the, the older generation? Is it only a certain type of person? This is how much an emergency ambulance raid ended up costing me in Germany. 10 euros. Very good. I don't even, I don't, I'm not sure if there's even any cost in the UK actually. Never had to get an ambulance, luckily. Giant slide at a playground in Germany. Whoa. Now I did see something before about German playgrounds and they are very impressive. I know that German parents tend to just not let their they let their kids be responsible for themselves and climbing and the sort of climbing through the playgrounds and things can look a bit more daunting than maybe in some other countries. This thing is a bit mad, but I would even, I think I'd even enjoy that uh, as much as my son. How high that is. Standing wave surfing in a German sports store. Nice. The last time I seen something like this, I was in like Phuket in Thailand last year and they have a bar that's got one of these in it. I don't think you can drink. I think, it, uh, well, maybe you can, but people were doing surfing just in the middle of the, the street. It was pretty interesting, but inside a mall, very cool. The, the escalator at the uni of Stuttgart stop has been broken for weeks. <laughs> Well, man, Germans really like their memes. It's cool. A black house in Germany. Nice. Looks like a computer game when, like, it's something that's still to be unlocked or it's been deactivated or something. A house being moved in Germany. They're literally moving the house. It's got roots. This baggage claim in Frankfurt. <laughs> it's like roulette. Nice. Germany got really a lot of inventive, unique things that I've never seen before. Guacamole, in a nice DIY guacamole. That's a good idea as well. Uh, just get everything. I mean, why do people not have more things like that for home cooking or for different things? Like, rather than go buy all the separate things if you want to do your own cooking, just keep it all together and saves you some time. That's actually genius the more I think about that. This graveyard rack here is the most German thing I've ever seen so far in 25 years. Relatives bring their own watering can and lock it to a designated watering can rack at a graveyard so you can water it. Wow. Yeah, I don't really know what to think about that actually, but I guess it makes sense. Do people water grave stones or the area around gra in, in a graveyard? In Germany, they serve ice cream meant to look like spaghetti. Yeah, I've seen that one before actually when I was looking at German cuisine. I think it looks super tasty actually. Man, that is so 50 photos that prove Germany is not like any other country. I've got to agree, that was actually fascinating seeing a, a lot of things I've actually never seen before. It really does show the inventiveness, the German engineering, ingenuity as I mentioned. Uh, tell me what you think about these, have you seen all of them? Tell me where the images, that, uh, they were about places, where they were and things like that. And tell me, yeah, have you, have you experienced anything in that video? Thanks.